Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm Chris, this is Kim. We're here on the east coast of Florida and today we get into some crazy mess. Um, we get a, just a little under 100 shrimp. We get uh, eight dozen shrimp, which is like 96, whatever. But uh, we blow through those so fast. We get on the target species that we we're looking for, but they just tear us up. There's a lot of chaos and mayhem that goes on. So you may want to stick around and check that out. But at the end of this video, I got a serious question I want to ask you. It's kind of controversial. So stick around and we'll get to that. Uh-oh, Kim just caught this mess looks like part of somebody's dock there you go and we'll just keep this back here for safekeeping turn it to the dock when we're when we're done all right guys we're out here at the jetty and um you know we're getting an early start all we got is a couple dozen shrimp and some fish finder rigs we're dropping down out here to see what we can come up with uh oh kim's already hooked up what do you got baby you got it lost it ah oh, dang it anyway we keep dropping hopefully we'll come up with something good for you we're looking for like you know sheep's head blue fish or anything fun out here no no oh <laughs> little mangrove That's that was down there. yeah tearing you up little mangrove okay what do we got what do we got oh little blue There's fish blowing up all over the place now. They're probably these little blues. And let's see if we can grab another one. It'd be nice if there's some bigger ones down there. But those, those, that's the target. We're looking for some sheep, maybe sheep's head and some blue fish. That's the only ones we really kind of planned on keeping today. What do you got there? Uh, yeah, drop that back down. Let's see what we can get. So they're biting. What you got, baby? Little guy? Nice one? Do I need a net? Oh, what do you got there? Oh, Black Margate. Yeah. Black Margate. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep some of these if they're bigger, but this guy's a little small for us, so he's going back. All right. Just gonna catch another one of that little shrimp. Careful, he's hooked up again. And, oh, bluefish. There's a bunch of little bluefish around blue little guy you got him that time you gotta tell me when you're hooked up oh and so hopefully there's some bigger ones but usually they school around about the same size so with the three out inline circle hook the 30 pound leader because those blue fish have sharp teeth and they'll cut through that line a little bit bigger mangrove man we may have to move here in a little while. A lot of these small guys. Which, you know, I'm not sticking my nose up at them. They're still fun to catch, but... we oh, got one. What do we got? Another little blue fish. Little blue. <laughs> blue. Man, we were just going through our bait like nobody's business. Between these blue fish and these little mangroves. Can't really complain about that. You know, just come out here, drop lines, and start reeling. Uh oh. Another little guy. Another little blue. There's gotta be 12 inches, 12 inches to the fork. Go. Yep. Ha! Another one. Man, these, just as soon as we can drop them, we are getting hit. Kim, he's got another one over there. Did you lose him? Oh, okay. Like I said, just free lining this one out. He's getting smacked. What do we got? Mangrove. All right. Enough of the little fish. We're just gonna move up and down the jays here a little bit and see if we can't find some other fish too. I know the rule is uh, never leave fish to find fish, but you know, all right, we're at our next spot. See if we're just holding some fish here. What do we got here? A little guy. Oh, another mangrove. 
freaking mangroves are flooded out here at the jetties. Little squeakers. There we go. Got another one. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? And another mangrove. Another mangrove. Get a little bigger. He choked that thing. Yeah, I'll send that shrimp back down. What? Oh, the blue. Man, they're just, they followed us. <laughs> These critters are either just everywhere or they're following us. Whew. There you go. Good stuff. Good times. Good times. Uh oh, Kim's hooked up. What do you got? Another blue? <laughs> Man. Holy cremoli. Uh, we just need your parents. And some bluefish chowder. I think he got mine. This one. Yeah, he got that one. And am I hooked up here? Nope, but he probably got that one too. Dang it. He's chewing it up. Man, I can't. Man, when you got these little bluefish, you can't set your rod down. You gotta have it in your hand. I'm over here doing uh, Kim's bait and both these lines were getting hit. What do you got? What do you got? Another mangrove. Man, there are just tons of them over here. Holy crap. Insane. Yep, got one. Got this one. What do we got here? And another little bluefish. <laughs> Woo! These suckers are keeping us freaking busy and burning through bait like nobody's business. Cord. Uh oh, another blue. These tiny little guys. Oh, you got one on your back? Uh oh, th yep, there we go. Hooked up over here too. Come on, just trying to get them off. There we go. Uh. Where is he at? Where is he at? Come on. There you go. And they're all about the same size. This one's a little bigger. That's promising. It's not quite 12. Let's see how big this guy is. Just under 12 to the fork. So, man, we just need to get a, you know, a couple more inches and uh, we'll be good. Let's see if I can look at something here. Yep. Got him. Oh, this one's fighting a little more. This one might... Oh, man. Yeah. They're getting a little bit bigger. Not big enough, though. Gotta watch out for those teeth. But, man. Getting bigger. Uh oh, Kim's got one, too. Uh oh. I'm going to have to start measuring some of these. Because they're getting pretty close. But it's probably still short. We'll throw it on this big mammer jammer. Maybe that'll entice something a little nicer. Uh oh, Kim's hooked up. Uh oh. Keep an eye on that. There, there, yeah, I'm hooked up. Oh. Something. I think just bit him in half. Nope, he got him. Got him. All right. Let's check this guy out. Uh oh. Dang it. Every time I come grab one of these fish, something grabs that. And I lose my bait. So, try to do this as quick as I can. So I can grab a hold of that pole. Thank you. Nope, I got him. I got him. Yep. 
<laughs> just that quick look, Ken's hooked up again already over here. Holy crap. This is insane. I'm not even cutting. Fast as we can put them on the hook. I'm right handed, I'm trying to do it left handed. And and all we're left is these scrawny ones. I say we'll still eat, but. I like some good medium sized shrimp and you hooked up baby? Where do they take you? Hey. Anyway, there you go. I feel it. There, there. Yep. Oh, you might have got mine. You get yours. You gotcha. Yeah, I think he got me too. Oh no, there we go, there we go, got him. Got him that time. <laughs> Woo, this is a bucket of fun. Oh, you God. See, I'm, I haven't even cut yet. Oh, oh yeah, something different. <laughs> well, at least not a blue. And I'll put that shrimp back down. If you're enjoying the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, notification bell, all that fancy mess, and please give us a thumbs up. That'd be greatly appreciated. And uh, we'll see if we can't pull in a couple more of these. And. Another mangrove. Look, okay. I. And we got uh, eight dozen shrimp today. Where are you getting a bite? And going through them so fast. You know, Ken hooked up. And another little mangrove. She got babies. Another mangrove. Ooh. Yeah, I have to. We're getting low. There you go. Uh, another blue. Another blue. You're my boy, blue. Getting down to the nitty gritty. These little tiny ones. Sometimes I wonder, like, should they even charge you for these things? <laughs> it's a little. There we go. And getting the mangroves over here like no, it's like crazy. And we've only been out here, let's see. A uh, little over an hour and <laughs> we're, we're probably two thirds of the way through our bait. Oh man. Ooh. It has just been a you know a derby raking these guys in. Yeah, I'll probably go back over there. My <laughs> my bait's gonna be gone. <laughs> oh no, I got one. And it's a little mango too. Yep, got one. Another one. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh man, 
only these were keepers. Like these guys are like about uh that's like ten and a half inch. There we go. There we go. There we go. And mangrove this time. More mangroves and bluefish than you can shake a stick at. Dang it. It's trying to do something. And yeah, you can't set these things down. Oh man. Oh, we got my hook. Let me see if I can get that hook out of you, buddy. Oh, he, he, he spit it up. And bloop. This is insane how many there are out here. Insane. Bring them in. Uh, another mangrove. Ooh, gazillions. Whew. Oh, we would have a boat full of fish if these were all keepers. Man, we would have limited out, I don't know, probably 45 minutes ago. Nope. Oh, he got me. Like he took me and. How'd you do that? All right, I got this scraggly old uh, bucktail. I'm gonna see if I can't. Uh, are you hooked up? Get on some blues with that. Oh, I saw him chasing him. I'm gonna let it sink a minute. Uh oh, there you go. And nice mangrove. Nice little mangrove. No, oh, there we go. <laughs> that didn't take long. Second cast. Got a bucktail on the bucktail. Couldn't help yourself, could you? Couldn't help yourself. Uh oh. Another mangrove. Uh oh. <laughs> I, didn't even, I wasn't even reeling this in and they came and grabbed it. <laughs> I set it down to to get the hook, uh, get Kim's fish off and it just nabbed it laying on the bottom. Hungry. Hungry hippos. But you know, especially when they're schooled up like this, it's fun to come out here and chuck lures at them. No, oh, there you go. There you go. There she got him. She got him. You got him that time. All right, guys, this is the last shrimp. Let's see if we can do one more with this last shrimp. Ah, got me. Got me. Ah, that was the last guy. Alright, now 
probably know what time it is. It's been quite a few weeks since well, they got to run around our island. And we'll do our little outro. All right, now I got a question for you. Clean the feet off. Ugh. Lily hasn't been feeling too good. That's why she wasn't running around that much. She had a little tummy ache. All right, guys. So we get on the target species. We get some um, bluefish, but and a bunch of mangrove snapper. Uh, they were all small. Uh, we we're hoping that maybe some bigger ones would come through, but they just kept us busy. It was just chaos so there's one right after another you you guys saw so i don't have to really explain it to you but it was a lot of fun and especially when you're checking out some bucktails for him too that's always a blast but um you know poor lily's tummy was bo been bothering her lately so uh she wasn't in the best of moods but she still was happy to come out here and get on the boat and enjoy the outdoors with us but we dropped lines at like about seven o'clock and i've dropped that last shrimp a little before nine o'clock so <laughs> almost two hours uh less than 100 but about 100 shrimp but that was just it was just insane there were so many but uh here comes to the controversial question um bluefish people always say chop them up use them for bait and i've seen the argument online back and forth about whether you can use a regulated fish which in the state of florida state waters bluefish are regulated uh, and there may be different in each area but over here on the east coast of florida they're you know three per person and uh 12 inch to the fork you're supposed to keep and it says any regulated fish has to be landed you know in whole condition that means you got to get back to the dock with the fish in whole condition some people are like oh yeah you can just count it against your allotment or whatever but you know this is what the rules say and i've heard some arguments back and forth all you know all my buddy fwc yada yada says says this or that and i've never seen gotten a straight answer except for that it says in the rules you have to land it in whole condition what do you guys think uh leave a comment below chop them up use them for bait or uh you think you risk getting in trouble um what do you think guys leave in the comments below uh let's hear what you think about the subject uh, but i have used bluefish chopped them up before but i've landed them i've taken them home froze them and then i brought them back uh, so technically I think that's legal. Uh, I don't, you know, I try to keep everything above board, especially being on YouTube and, you know, I, I do make mistakes. Uh, there's some rules that, you know, you learn the hard way. Uh, you know, there's so many out there. So leave a comment below, chop up a regulated fish for bait. Can you, can't you? Uh, let's see what you have to say and uh, hit that subscribe button, the thumbs up. We'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, thanks for joining us. Hit that notification bell. So, you know, when all our videos come out and, uh, Till we see you next time, guys, stay salty. Bye. Say bye oh, yeah, and if you want to go fishing with me, visit saltystrikesfishing.com. You can book your fishing trips there.